Greetings travel enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome to our countdown. Today we are embarking on an extraordinary journey that will take us through 20 lesser known but absolutely fascinating facts about the vibrant country of India. Each fact will unravel a unique aspect of this diverse nation. So stay with us till the end because the most astonishing revelation awaits you there. So hold on to your seats and prepare to embark on an exciting journey of discovery. Let's start with fact number 20. It's time to take a ride on the Indian Railway Network. Now, if you haven't heard of the impressive Indian Railway Network before, wait until you hear some amazing facts about it. India boasts the fourth largest railway network in the world, spanning over an incredible 67,000 miles. That's long enough to wrap around the Earth nearly three times. But it's not just about the length. Each year, the Indian Railway system carries more than 8 billion passengers. That's almost the entire world's population. And it's not just people. From goods and commodities to livestock and even automobiles, the railways transport a staggering array of items across the length and breadth of the country. So, the next time you hop on a train, remember you're part of a system that is truly a lifeline for a billion people. Moving on to number 19, let's dim the lights and get ready for a cinematic journey through the Indian film industry, widely known as Bollywood. This isn't just your average movie-making business. Bollywood is, in fact, the world's largest film industry in terms of output, churning out an astonishing 1,000-plus films annually. That's nearly three films a day. But it's not just about the quantity. Bollywood films are known for their vibrant storytelling, iconic dance sequences and music, and a unique blend of drama, comedy and romance. They are screened in over 90 countries around the globe, contributing significantly to India's soft power and cultural influence. So the next time you watch a Bollywood movie, remember, you're experiencing a slice of an industry that is a powerhouse of creativity and a source of immense pride for a billion people. Turning the heat up for number 18, we're diving into the flavorful world of Indian spices. India isn't just known for its colorful festivals and rich heritage, it's also the spice capital of the world. That's right, India is the world's largest producer and consumer of spices, contributing a whopping 70% to the global spice market. From the fiery red chilies of Andhra Pradesh to the aromatic cardamom of Kerala, the diverse Indian geography yields an array of spices that add depth and character to dishes worldwide. But spices in India are not just about adding flavor to food. They play a significant role in traditional medicine, religious rituals, and even cosmetics. So the next time you enjoy a spicy curry or sip on a comforting cup of masala chai, remember, you're tasting a piece of India's rich spice heritage that has been carefully cultivated and cherished over centuries. From the flavorful spice trails, we move to a blooming marvel at number 17, the Lotus Temple. Nestled in the heart of India's capital, Delhi stands an architectural masterpiece that's not just a feast for the eyes, but a symbol of unity and inclusivity. The Lotus Temple, a Baha'i house of worship, is renowned for its iconic flower-like shape. Resembling a blooming lotus, this structure is composed of 27 freestanding marble-clad petals, arranged in clusters to create a sense of awe and serenity. But what makes this temple truly special is its philosophy. It's open to all, regardless of religion or any other distinction, embodying the Baha'i teachings of unity. Within its serene halls, one can find a tranquil sanctuary for prayer and meditation. So, the Lotus Temple isn't just an architectural wonder, it's a testament to India's spirit of unity and diversity, where a multitude of cultures and faiths coexist in harmony. From the unity of the Lotus Temple, we now embark on a flavorful journey across the Indian subcontinent at number 16, the culinary diversity of India. Indian cuisine is not just food, it's an art, a history lesson, and a cultural exploration, all on a single plate. Each region in India boasts its own distinctive culinary tradition, reflecting the local produce, cultural diversity, and varied demographics of the country. From the rich and aromatic curries of the north, to the tangy and spicy flavors of the South, the robust and hearty dishes of the West, to the subtle and sweet notes of the East, 
Indian cuisine is a gastronomic adventure like no other. It's not just about satisfying your taste buds, but about discovering the stories and traditions that have been passed down through generations. So when you're savoring a dish from India, you're not just enjoying a meal, you're partaking in a rich and diverse cultural heritage that spans thousands of years. So buckle up food lovers, because the Indian culinary journey is a spicy, sweet, tangy, and utterly unforgettable ride. From the culinary delights of the Indian subcontinent, let's now turn our attention to the linguistic landscape at number 15, the linguistic diversity of India. If India is a vibrant tapestry, then its languages are the colorful threads that weave it together. India is a veritable tower of Babel, home to several hundred languages, with the Indian constitution officially recognizing 22 of them. Each language, with its unique phonetics, grammar and script, is a testament to the country's rich cultural heritage and diversity. From the poetic verses of Sanskrit, the ancient language of the Hindu scriptures, to the melodious rhythm of Bengali, the language of Rabindranath Tagore, India's linguistic diversity is simply astounding. Each language is not just a means of communication, but a distinct cultural identity, a repository of a community's history, folklore and traditions. So when you're traversing the linguistic landscape of India, you're not just learning new words, you're uncovering the soul of its diverse communities and their rich tapestry of stories. So, language enthusiasts, buckle up, because the linguistic journey across India is a captivating, enlightening and utterly enriching experience. From the rich tapestry of languages, let's now dive into the vibrant and colourful world of Indian festivals at number 14. India, a country known for its cultural diversity, is also a land of innumerable festivals. Each festival, like Diwali, the Festival of Lights, Holi, the Festival of Colours, Eid, a solemn end to Ramadan, Christmas, the celebration of the birth of Jesus, Pongal, the Harvest Festival, and Navaratri, a nine-night celebration of the Divine Feminine, reflects the country's multi-religious, multi-ethnic fabric. These festivals are not just about rituals and traditions, but they serve as a mirror to India's diverse cultural ethos, bringing together people from different walks of life in joyous celebration. They are the beating heart of India, pulsating with energy, color, and life. So, whether you're lighting a Diwali Diya, spraying colors on Holi, sharing a meal on Eid, singing carols on Christmas, making Pongal on the Harvest Festival, or dancing on Navaratri, you're participating in a grand, vibrant spectacle that is uniquely Indian. So, get ready to immerse yourself in the kaleidoscope of Indian festivals, a truly enriching and unforgettable experience. Moving on from the vibrant festivals, let's venture into the wild side of India at number 13. India, a land of geographic diversity, is home to some of the most remarkable wildlife in the world. The majestic Bengal tiger, the gentle Indian elephant, the formidable Indian rhinoceros, and countless other unique species inhabit India's expansive forests and national parks. Each creature plays a crucial role in the ecological balance of these regions. From the dense Sundarbans, where the elusive Royal Bengal Tiger prowls, to the grasslands of Kaziranga, where the Indian rhinoceros roams, to the Western Ghats, a biodiversity hotspot teeming with unique flora and fauna, India's wildlife is as diverse as its culture. These animals not only contribute to India's rich biodiversity, but are also integral to the country's identity and heritage. So, buckle up for a wild ride as we explore the fascinating creatures that call India home, a testament to the country's commitment to conservation and biodiversity. From the wilderness, we now journey to the serene tea plantations of India, coming in at number 12. When you think of tea, your mind might wander to the English afternoon tea or the traditional Chinese tea ceremonies. But did you know that India is the second largest producer of tea in the world? Yes, that's right. The nation's highlands and rain-soaked slopes provide the perfect conditions for cultivating this aromatic brew. The famous Assam tea and the esteemed Darjeeling tea are not just India's but the world's favorite. These tea plantations are not just about the production of tea, they are a symbol of India's colonial past and its transformation into a modern tea titan. 
So the next time you sip your morning cup of tea, remember the lush green tea gardens of Assam and the misty tea hills of Darjeeling that work tirelessly to bring that invigorating flavor to your cup. India's tea story is indeed a brew of hard work, history, and a whole lot of flavor. Moving on to number 11, we delve into the spiritual realm of India, a country that has been a cradle of various philosophies and practices for centuries. Among these, one that stands out is yoga. Originating in India over 5,000 years ago, yoga is much more than just a form of exercise. It is a spiritual discipline, a journey of the self, through the self, to the self. Yoga combines physical postures, breathing techniques, and meditation to promote physical strength, mental clarity, and spiritual growth. Today, yoga has transcended boundaries and is practiced worldwide, with the United Nations even declaring June 21st as International Yoga Day. So whether you're trying to touch your toes or simply seeking inner peace, remember the roots of yoga trace back to the ancient Indian civilization. It's not just a pose, it's a lifestyle, a philosophy that India has gifted to the world. As we step into number 10, let's take a moment to appreciate a game that has challenged minds around the globe for centuries. Chess. Yes, you heard it right. The strategic board game of chess has its roots in India. Originating during the Gupta Empire around the 6th century AD, the game was then known as Chaturanga, which translates to four divisions of the military. Infantry, cavalry, elephants and chariotry represented by the pieces pawn, knight, bishop, and rook. Over the centuries, Chaturanga evolved and traveled across the world, morphing into the game we know today as chess. It's a testament to the intellectual and cultural richness of ancient India, which has given the world a game that transcends language and geography. So, the next time you say checkmate, remember, you're participating in a legacy that spans over a thousand years, originating from the heart of India. Moving on to number 9, we delve into the dynamic and powerful world of Indian martial arts. Long before Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan took center stage, the foundations of martial arts were being laid in India. Kalaripayattu, believed to be one of the oldest fighting systems in existence, was developed in Kerala in the 3rd century BC. Its fluid movements and emphasis on flexibility, agility and power have influenced many other martial art forms. Then we have Silambam from Tamil Nadu, a weapon-based martial art renowned for its use of a staff, and Gatka, a traditional Sikh martial art known for its swordplay and spiritual ethos. These martial arts are not just about physical prowess, but also about discipline, spirituality, and a deep respect for the art form. So, the next time you catch a martial arts flick or watch a high-octane fight sequence, Remember that the roots of many of these art forms trace back to the ancient lands of India. Moving on to number 8, we dive into the world of Indian textiles. With a history spanning millennia, Indian textiles are a vibrant tapestry of creativity, skill and cultural diversity. India is the second largest producer of textiles and garments in the world. From the exquisite silks of Kanchipuram to the intricate embroidery of Lucknow's Chikankari, from the tie and dye bandani of Gujarat to the regal brocades of Varanasi, Indian textiles are a testament to the country's rich heritage and craftsmanship. They're not just pieces of fabric, but stories woven in threads, each with its own unique narrative. And it's not just about tradition, India is also a major player in the global fashion industry, with Indian designers and fabrics making waves on international runways. So, the next time you come across a piece of Indian textile, remember that it's not just a garment, but a piece of art, a slice of history, and a symbol of India's creative prowess. Moving forward to number 7, we delve into the ancient wisdom of Indian Ayurveda. Rooted in the Indian subcontinent, Ayurveda is a system of medicine that has been practiced for over 5,000 years. But it's more than just a medicinal system. Ayurveda is a philosophy, a way of life, it seeks to create a balance between the body, mind and spirit, promoting health and wellness through a holistic approach. This ancient wisdom is still alive and thriving in India today, and its principles are being increasingly recognized and adopted worldwide. From dietary recommendations to natural remedies, from yoga and meditation to lifestyle advice, Ayurveda offers a comprehensive guide to healthy living. 
So the next time you sip on that turmeric latte or apply that neem face mask, remember, you're partaking in a tradition that has stood the test of time, a testament to India's rich medicinal heritage. Shifting our focus to number six, we step into the world of Indian monuments, a testament to India's rich history and diverse cultural heritage. India is home to numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites, each narrating a unique story of its past. The Taj Mahal, a symbol of love and an architectural marvel, leaves visitors spellbound with its white marble elegance. The Qutub Minar, standing tall in the heart of Delhi, is a remarkable example of Indo-Islamic architecture and a testament to the city's historical significance. The Red Fort, a fortress in the old Mughal capital of Shah Jahanabad, now serves as a powerful symbol of India's sovereignty. These monuments, along with countless others scattered across the country, serve as a window into India's past, reflecting the artistic, cultural and technological advancements of their respective eras. So, when you visit these sites, you're not just seeing a structure, but stepping into a time machine, experiencing history in its most grandeur form. Moving on to number five in our countdown, we delve into the heart of India's political landscape, India isn't just any democracy, it's the world's largest democracy. With over 900 million eligible voters, the Indian democracy is a vibrant example of diversity and unity coexisting. From the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas to the tropical shores of Kerala, from the bustling streets of Mumbai to the quiet villages of Odisha, every single corner of this vast nation has a voice. And every five years, these voices come together in a symphony of collective decision-making during the general elections. The sheer scale and complexity of these elections are mind-boggling, with polling stations set up even in the remotest parts of the country. This democratic exercise is not just about the right to vote, but it's a celebration of the Indian ethos of diversity, inclusivity, and freedom. So. India's democracy isn't just about the numbers, it's about the people, their voices, and their choice. Sliding into the number four spot, we're going to take a leap from the bustling streets and serene landscapes of India and launch into the cosmos. India is not just making strides on Earth, but also in the vast expanse of space. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, is the country's primary space agency and it's making history in the space exploration field. India is the fourth country to have a space shuttle, and it created a global buzz when it became the first nation to reach Mars in its first attempt. This mission, known as the Mars Orbiter Mission, or Mangalyan, was not just a testament to India's technological prowess, but also its cost-effectiveness. At a mere $74 million, it cost less than the budget of the Hollywood movie Gravity, it's not just about reaching new frontiers, but doing it in a way that's economical and efficient. India's space odyssey is a shining example of its innovation and determination. So, India's space research isn't just about rockets and satellites, it's about ambition, it's about making the impossible, possible. Flowing into the number three spot, we are going to immerse in the life-giving rivers of India. From the sacred Ganges to the mighty Brahmaputra, the serene Yamuna to the bountiful Godavari and the historic Kaveri, India is home to a network of major rivers that crisscross the country, nurturing its lands and its people. These rivers are not just water bodies, they are considered sacred, being integral to the religious and cultural fabric of India. They are the sites of numerous festivals, rituals and pilgrimages, attracting millions of devotees each year. But beyond their spiritual significance, these rivers also play a crucial role in India's agriculture, supporting millions of farmers and contributing to the country's food security. They are the lifeblood of India, a testament to the country's rich natural resources and its deep-rooted connection with nature. So India's river networks are not just about water and land, they are about life, culture and sustenance. Moving to number two, we have India's postal network. Now, this isn't your everyday mail delivery system. India boasts the largest postal network in the world. Imagine a web stretching across more than one and a half million square miles, connecting every nook and cranny of the country, from bustling metropolises to remote mountain villages. And it's not just about its size. What's truly fascinating is the sheer diversity of services it offers. 
from traditional mail delivery to banking, insurance, and even e-commerce. It's a testament to India's dedication to inclusivity and connectivity, ensuring that even the most distant corners of the country are not left behind. So, India's postal network is not just about letters and parcels, but a lifeline connecting millions. And finally, at number one, we move to the state of Meghalaya. Nestled in the northeastern part of India, this state holds a record that'll make you want to carry an umbrella at all times. Here lies the town of Mosinram, a place where the skies weep with joy more than anywhere else on earth. Yes, you heard it right. Mosinram is recognized as the wettest place on our planet. This location, with its lush green landscapes, receives an average annual rainfall of about 466 inches. But guess what? The locals prefer raincoats to umbrellas because of the torrential downpours. So, if you ever find yourself in Mosinram, remember, it's not just about experiencing rain, it's about living it. Raincoats over umbrellas, that's the Mosinram way. Bonus fact, we have India's monumental contribution to mathematics. As we delve into the annals of history, we find that India has been a cradle of numerous mathematical concepts that have shaped the world as we know it. The concept of zero, a cornerstone of modern mathematics, was first conceptualized in India. Can you imagine performing simple arithmetic without the number zero? It's a bit mind-boggling, isn't it? Furthermore, the decimal system, which forms the basis of almost all computing and digital systems today, also originated from this diverse land. These ingenious inventions have not only shaped the course of mathematics, but also the trajectory of human civilization. Indeed, without India, mathematics as we know it would be non-existent. What a journey it has been through the mesmerizing land of India. We delved into 20 unique and fascinating facts, each more surprising than the last. We kicked off our adventure with the expansive reach of India's postal network touching the most remote corners of the country in an extraordinary display of connectivity. Then we experienced the relentless downpour in Mausinram, the wettest place on earth, a testament to nature's untamed power. We navigated through the rest of the countdown, each fact a precious gem revealing the multifaceted beauty of India. From the awe-inspiring architecture of ancient temples to the vibrant hues of the holy festival, from the melodious ragas of Indian classical music to the spicy delights of Indian cuisine, we discovered the richness and diversity of Indian culture. We explored India's technological prowess, its pivotal role in global space exploration, and its commendable efforts towards environmental conservation. We delved into the depths of India's history, unearthing tales of valiant warriors, great empires, and timeless wisdom. We celebrated India's contribution to the world of science, particularly the invaluable gift of zero to the mathematics universe. Our journey culminated with the monumental contribution of India to the world of mathematics, a testament to the country's intellectual heritage. Each fact, a unique thread, woven together to create the vibrant tapestry that is India. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Stay curious and keep exploring.